morning. It is September 1st. Um, I just finished meditating and um, actually I, um, I woke up um, I woke up well I woke up the time I usually wake up which is like around 4 ish and um and I and I started seeing the purple in, in a little bit of the movement and so and I was just this literally like listening to um to music and, and not really with the intention to meditate at that moment because I was just waking up and usually when I wake up I'm still laying in bed and, and MJ is really my first go-to um because I'm, I'm usually up by the time she posts the first video so I listen to it especially <laughs> just to see what she's gonna post and I'm just laughing <laughs> because of what she's posted and then Allie is, is posting a few things and and it's <laughs> Oh, 555. Um, it's speaking to the videos that I'm going to schedule to post. <laughs> um, I I'm thinking unless there's going to be some type of like repeat situation in my current timeline. But I'm not even thinking that far ahead. I'm, I'm really just being in the moment. Um, just really being more in the moment, right? And, and being grateful for where I'm at and enjoying each task that I'm doing and trying to still keep myself accountable, right? Because I, I, I'm a little swollen, <laughs> which I speak to also in the video, but I'm a little swollen this time because I, I ate too much sodium over the last three days. Um, and then I traveled and so I tend to like swell, uh, my ankles tend to swell a little bit more. And, so the good thing is that I'm going to be walking today to the, there's like this rainbow grocery place that I've been wanting to check out and my cousin and I are going to go and um, ch ch just check it out and it's going to be a little walk away so that'll be a nice little walk. And then tomorrow I'm scheduled to see my friend, acquaintance friend, because you know, it's only been a few weeks that I met him and I don't want to say that we're friend friends yet. Um, although we've just been corresponding a lot. Um, so it's been a nice acquaintance um, so far. And um, so we're gonna meet up. I should I should email him back just to confirm the, the time. But, um, so that'll be a nice walk because I plan to walk out there. And maybe I'll take the Muni back. I still haven't figured out how to use the Muni. So maybe I'll look into that tonight. Um, so, so yeah, I, I'm really focused on, on just being present and, and being grateful for the moment, relishing in the moment, smiling in the moment, breathing in the moment, pausing in the moment. And um, so, so I've really been in the moment. So it's, it's just funny when I hear the, <laughs> the tarot readings of the people that I usually listen to and they're speaking again to the videos or at least what the energy output that's happening in my videos. Um, but anyways, um, oh, because I listened to her morning message. So she's my go-to. When I wake up, let me look at MJ. And then after that, I'll look to see if they have any new music from Alex Rainbird um, um, Music, which is another YouTube channel that I listen to, and I love the music that they play. So I, I, I'm always checking to see if, if they came out with something new to post um there's a few other uh, music vid uh, youtube channels that i listen to but that's the main one um that's been consistent and so um <laughs> so, so anyways so um so then I, I listen to that and then i stretch in bed and just like get myself moving and then think about what i need to do so anyways as I was getting in that transition to wake up, I'm seeing the blue, but I didn't stay with it. Um, I got up, I'm getting ready, and um, and I'm just enjoying the moment. I mean, I've been up since 4, that's barely 9.44. <laughs> I'm totally lagging it. But I'm enjoying every moment. I just meditated right now. That's why I'm recording, because I just meditated. 
and um and again I'm just it's very simple I'm praying I'm thanking God I have my healing stone in my hand I put it on my heart or I think today I just held on to it just being grateful and focusing on the light the candle and then I close my eyes and and I see a purple but it's it's kind of like the reflection it's funny because I was staring at the candle so I have the candle like so my new meditative space is in the living room facing the TV but I have my candle there and and so I, I was staring at the candle first and then I'm noticing the candle and it's light that's giving out right and there's this purple aura around it <laughs> so I was just like hey and and I'm just staring at the purple aura around the light and then I close my eyes and I still see you know sometimes like you'll see I don't know if it's happened to you when you look at your phone like let's say you're going to bed at night all the lights are off your phone's the only thing on and and then you see it's clearly giving off energy right with the light and and then the, the if it's a YouTube channel that you're looking at you see not just the flat light but then you can see the outline of the TV or the little t uh, channel with a different level of light so when you close your eyes after you're going to bed after seeing that you can still see the image of the 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 cell phone and then the image of the small little youtube channel link right reflecting as your eyes are closed right so that's just like the imprint the imprint that's left um in terms of the the information that your eyes I'm assuming, right? I mean, I'm not an op ophthalmologist. That is, that is how they're called. Eye doctor. <laughs> but that's what I've noticed when I close my eyes. So anyways, so I'm looking at the candle. It's a big candle. I see the purple aura. I'm like, oh, that's so nice because it reminds me of the blue purple that I see when I meditate. Close my eyes. I still see the reflection of the light, right, from where the candle stood. <sighs> and, and just breathing and smiling and thanking God and for me bringing me home from the trip for you know enjoying this morning and and um, just for being really and I'm listening to my meditation reading that I love listening to and when I meditate and then and then I pose a question <laughs> I pose the question is this new acquaintance friend the missing link <laughs> i'm posing the question is, is this is this acquaintance friend the missing link will he help me <laughs> no I, I think i just said um is he the missing link i kid you not i start seeing the waves <laughs> and the the purple little light that started off as a reflection of the candle gets bigger and then the waves are just like, they start off slow, and then they're intensifying. But it's like this gentle in intensification, <laughs> and gent gently intensifying. And, and it, I can see, so now the, the purple is like bigger, and, and, and there's, and it's literally like, like there's this indentation like at the bottom, mm, like that. And, and, and because that's where like the, the, the waves are like rising and they're going down and they're rising. So intuitively, it's like it's telling me, yes. And so I said, okay, like I'm just experiencing the motion, going with the flow. And I'm like, thank you. And I'm like, I, I, so I walk towards him. I'll ask him tomorrow if he can help me. And, and it's just as I'm, as I'm making these statements, it's getting stronger and stronger. So it's like, oh, cool. <laughs> And then I just, I stay with it for a little bit. And then, um, and I just thank it and, 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 you know, thank it for, for the connection that I have, for, for making me feel like home, right? Um, it, I feel reassured when I see the waves and the color and the movement and, um, because it's led me this far. <laughs> and and I, I feel happier. I feel whole and complete and, and experiencing each moment, choosing to experience each moment as an adventure. 
with the expectation, I was thinking about this this morning, with the expectation, and, and people are, there's always this element of like, be careful, don't put expectations on things, right? It's how, it's how you define expectation. It's how you define it. Because I realized I'm, I've made a choice, and I told this friend, to, a friend, to, friend acquaintance that I've decided to live my life looking at it one from the eyes of a child but two knowing that each moment is wholly complete within itself so that i can enjoy it to the max experience all range of emotion within that moment and and whatever range of emotion it is right from one extreme to the other expecting that i'm going to learn something from it does as as simple as that moment may be I mean I could literally be sitting here just staring at my wall in that moment and and enjoying that for what it is that's the expectation that I have and and the expectation that, that one moment was an adventure within itself that's how I'm choosing to look at it right that's how I'm choosing to look at my life that each moment is exactly that, whole and complete within itself, full of the possibilities of ranges of emotion, right? From, from feeling neutral, right? Nothing, numbness, to these extreme intense emotions of joy, of anger, of frustration, of sadness, grief, and, and knowing that it can be, that moment could fall into any range of any emotion doing simply nothing at all or engaging in so many different activities and that in itself will be an adventure that's and that I'll learn something from it whether it's me by myself or if I'm interacting with someone else or many other people at the same time that's the expectation that I have of every moment that I live in life and so then that type of expectation, knowing that it can fall within any range, knowing that it has a beginning and it has an end, will be whole and complete and will give me a sense of life, a sense of living, a sense of knowing that I'm existing within that moment of space and time and awareness and knowing that that moment is my life. That this moment is my life. That's how I'm choosing to look at my life. Every moment of it. So there's that expectation. And I like that expectation. <laughs> that it can fall within that range, all those ranges different combination of those ranges and still know that within the intensity of that or lack of I'll still take something away there's still going to be a golden nugget for me to to walk away with so that moment will always have value. That moment will always be worthwhile. It will never be a moment that's just wasted. It will be exactly what it needs to be. Always. Always. Because we were always exactly where we need to be. We're always exactly doing the best that we can and we have a choice. We always have a choice. That's all. <laughs> so happy that I saw my waves in response to the question that I posed. So I'm excited. I'm going to pose it to him. I'm going to pose it to him. And who knows? Maybe, maybe I might even share with him that I saw these waves. Well, he knows that I see waves. I told him I see waves because he shared with me a story and that made it possible for me to open up and share 
a little bit of, of my story. And then that's when he said, you need a mentor. <laughs> and, and I posed that question to him, but he has yet to answer. So, um, you know, and technically, and that, that's what I told him. I'm like, it was hard for me to, like, there's, there's value in, in having a mentor. But then he asked the question, like, well, what do I, what do you, what, make, what do you say? Make sure you, you know what you want to get out of it. And then I'm like, well, how do I know what I'm going to get out of seeking a mentor in this line of questioning or, or of what's happening to me when I don't know what's going, like, <laughs> how do I know the answer to that? <sighs> or why would I set an expectation? When I'm already looking at my life in a way where every interaction, every moment, every person is my teacher, right? So, so how can I set this expectation of getting something from a person when I'm right now living in a way where anybody who crosses my path is a teacher? Any, any moment that I have, I can learn from. And he didn't respond. <laughs> He didn't respond back. So we'll see. We'll see what happens tomorrow when I see him. But it's 10 o'clock. Getting a little hungry. Um, so I should have my... I'm, I missed out on eating my... My... My um, ginger this weekend. I should have been eating it. I think that would have probably helped a little bit with the processing of sodium. Um, but I have an assessment I need to work on. Finish these videos because I'm lagging it. <laughs> Um, and, and I want to take finish looking into this astrology stuff, the birth chart, and understanding a little bit more. It, in the event he says yes, he wants to help me. So it's gonna get busy. I can feel it. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye. My name is Yubi, and in case you haven't figured it out, this footage is capturing my experience as I learn to navigate my personal spiritual awakening. Um, I am learning that this experience is unique to each one of us um, in whatever way we believe we are embracing living our truth. This just happens to be my journey. Um, and despite me having a graduate degree and a license in clinical social work, this by no means is intended to replace any type of mental health advice. This is just me on a personal level, uh, documenting my experience, shedding light on the truth that I am learning and discovering for myself, um, and really inviting you along for the ride. Um, if by some <laughs> magical chance you find this content to be helpful in any way, shape, or form, please click the like button, you know, share the message, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have an Instagram account, a personal one, and one specifically for this channel that you're more than welcome to check out. Um, I'm an open book. Um, I have also created t-shirt um, t designs. I'm wearing my favorite one right now, which is the North Node um, uh, design, um, but I have that and other things uh, that you can look at. Um, inspired by this process and journey um, and I have the link in the description box as well as in the about section of my YouTube um, channel so you're more than welcome to check those items out um, any type of support is you know great <laughs> um, again if, if you find this content really helpful or meaningful sometimes when we um, take that step and, and be vulnerable you know with with showing what's inside our hearts and what's really our truth we realize that we're much more connected um, than, than what we thought we were and so um, I hope that um, as I'm living this experience it, and you, that you find some type of truth for yourself or, or find some type of um, ability to heal in some way just by relating, you know, just just by knowing that you're not alone. That really has been my goal with, with this process, um, not just um, being able to connect with others, but really for my own healing. Um, it's definitely been a therapeutic experience and a very creative one for, for myself. So I thank you and um, I wish you all the best and you know, we'll see what else um, comes next for me.